Hey guys, Bob Gross here. Welcome back to the channel. I received some questions about my beautiful basil wall and I'm gonna answer them. So I posted a, a photo on Reddit and I received a lot of feedback, a lot of people asking questions on how it's built and just general questions about this little wall of basil. Uh, it doesn't have to be basil. I've grown bok choy in here, I've grown kale in here. You name it, I've grown it in here, but the basil is absolutely beautiful and grows amazing. There's two varieties of basil in here. We have mostly uh, Italian basil, and then there's this one here and that one there, which is Thai basil. Real quick rundown, this is all 1.5 inch PVC. The actual plant sites are 1.5 inch wise, and the connectors down there could either be those guys or they could be T's, it doesn't matter. I use half inch uh, PVC to float to the top, which we'll be able to see here. Put a couple T's, a little ball valve to regulate flow right there, and just kind of drips from the top. I have a pump down there. You gotta make sure you have a strong enough pump to, to, that has a head pressure to make it all the way to the top. This is just mounted on some type of leftover wood uh, frame that I concocted. Nothing is glued together, it's all just slip fit, and it doesn't leak. If anything, it leaks a little bit, and you develop some algae, and it closes it up, seals it right up for you. Good guy algae. On the top here, I used some plastic cups. I drilled some holes in them, and that's a little diffuser. So it kinda um, gives it a raining effect rather than just a single stream down the tube. These plants on this side were propagated they were clones from my original basil, but they were propagated inside of rock wool. So I'm not sure if you could see it, but there's a 1.5 inch rock wool cube in here. And I let it root, and then I placed the cube directly in there. The cube actually fits really well, so you don't need to secure it with anything else. Once it has the roots, you push the roots in, you push the cube in, and it grows. On this side, I ran an experiment. I wanted to see if I could use a cut up pool noodle and just secure it around the stem. But not only did I just do that, these cuttings were not rooted. They were simply placed into the tube, secured by the little disc which was pushed in there. It's wrapped around the stem and pushed in there. And all that was holding it in was the disc and there was, no, there was no roots. It was just a simple little cutting like this. And I wanted to see if I could skip a step because normally you'd get a cutting, you would root it, you'd place it in here. I, was, I wanted to see if I could just take the cutting and put it in there and if it'll develop roots and thrive. And well, it's thriving, okay? I'll pull this one out so we can take a look at how the roots are doing. I don't know if I'll be able to get it back in, but I guess that's the full. Oh. So there you have it. There's inside the tube. There's the little disc. I basically cut it off, cut a little section to wrap it around. And that kind of secures it. I'm not going to be putting this back in right now because I don't think it'll be easy to do with one hand. But there you can see the root growth. Some of it turns brown, some of it falls out, but it's okay because it keeps growing. Anyway, I thank you guys. Remember this is the middle summer. It's very hot out here in South Florida. At least you get to see how this is built so you guys can build one for yourself. Remember, you can always grow bok choy in here or anything else. I don't think lettuce will do so well in the summer heat. Bok choy grows great, kale grows great. Hell, I think you could do spinach or anything like that. I just really like basil. So I want myself a nice basil wall. Thank you guys, enjoy. 